Hey class, all right, so today I'm not here, I'm doing the Eclipse thing. So for surface design, you guys are gonna be working on, continue working on your project list. So make sure you guys have this handy. Uh, thing that we're going over is the sketchbook and really leading into calligraphy and graffiti. Uh, so in your sketchbooks, make sure you guys have that handy uh, because what you guys are gonna be working on is work on your alphabet for your symbol design so that we we talked about this the other class day where you're coming up with your personal symbol something that identifies with you now my symbol the thing that identifies with me the the g because my name uh is it's i've got to do that uh but then i've also got to do my i gotta do my studio thing which is tri fire and so for like my symbol that i've got on me i took the g and then i took the fire elements and put them above the g so it's like a little torch it's on fire and using that along with the lettering, how those things work together as one unified idea. So in your sketchbook, I definitely want you to do several iterations of your symbol, several iterations of the lettering, because I want you guys to be working on your name. Now, before you get working on the name, make sure that you guys knock out an alphabet of the font that you're working on. The reason that we're doing this is because as we start getting into calligraphy and into graffiti, the font that you do, the style that you bring to each individual letter represents what you guys want to accomplish in the overall thing. Uh, we're going to be using the graffiti and the calligraphy, two different pieces. Uh, one, both of them are going to be, we're going to be doing your name. Now in your name design, we're going to be taking the calligraphy letters for one piece and throwing some watercolor, some ink, doing ink and watercolor together to make uh, a little bit of color mixed with space and shape. So again, we're using those elements and principles of art. And then in the graffiti piece, we're gonna be using form and texture because the way that the letters are functioning uh, can be a little more 3D in the way that they're just, in the way they're constructed, which is gonna bring that form element, which is uh, again, another element of art. Again, you see the theme, we're working with those elements of art over and over again. Now, on your sketchbook, work on the alphabet for your graffiti font or your calligraphy font, really just giving a font style to each individual letter. Uh, and then working on your name and then your symbol, working on those two things collectively. Finish up your, uh, your line design if you have not finished that as always. Uh, and then working on, uh, and then I'll have uh, some sort of color element out there so that you guys can add color to those things. Uh, I'll also have, try and have some printouts of some different fonts so that you guys can work with those. But I really want you guys to start expressing yourself in the, the design language so that we can start working on those uh, those elements of design, adding things together. Now, as you're getting those things done in uh, sketchbook, make sure that you're finishing up the sketchbook activity for you guys. It was the circle, um, circle designs along two pieces. I have a like container, it's full of circles. This container right here, uh, it's an old dog treat container. I've got a bunch of these printer uh, papers. Uh, they're plastic, but they hold like paper, they held paper. Uh, so you can use the inside of this, the outside ring, the other ring. You have multiple rings in here, multiple pieces. And trace them over on each other, figure out how they overlap, and then how you can uh, either A, add designs inside of those circles, or um, having the circles envelop a design. I had some other examples. I'll try and throw some in the video too so you guys can see some stuff. Uh, but working on that, working on the lettering, working on your personal logo, try and get all those things done. Um, and as always, I will see you next class. Later, guys.